Hello. Today we're working on uh, Learn to Code, a chapter called Functions, and the very first activity called Composing a New Behavior. So hopefully you've uh, watched the introduction to functions and you learned a little bit about composing many procedures into one larger procedure. We call that idea a composition. So you may, for example, um, say, well, tonight at 9 p.m., I'm going to go to bed. And what you mean by go to bed, though, it's really an abstraction, an idea, a big idea. And that idea is, in reality, made up of a lot of small parts. You might say, when you go to bed, your bed routine might be uh, take a shower, put on your pajamas, brush your teeth, get into bed, read a book, go to sleep. So all those things, those six different little commands are a composition and you can, once you make that composition and that's going to happen day after day, you can say, this is what I mean by go to bed. Okay. So from now on, we can ignore the details, the take a shower, put on your pajamas, brush your teeth, get into bed, read a book, go to sleep. We can ignore all those details and just say, go to bed. That when we say we're going to bed, we don't need to say those things anymore. We really uh, know that it's a set of commands. Take a shower, put on pajamas, brush teeth, get into bed, and read a book. So for this particular activity, we are going to use composition to turn to the right. And we don't have a command turn right. We have a command turn left. But let's go ahead and see what it means to turn right, and maybe we can um, find many procedures or some set of procedures that we can use to turn ourselves to the right. Okay, so here's Byte. Um, he needs to collect one gem. So to get that gem, we're going to go move forward and go down the stairs. And when we get to the bottom of the stairs, we're going to have to turn to go get that gem. Okay. So I'm going to first um, go ahead and have Byte move forward one, two, three times until he gets down to the bottom of the stairs. Okay, so move forward, move forward, move forward until he gets to the bottom of the stairs. Now, uh, the only other command I have to turn is turn left. So let's run our code here and see what happens when Byte moves forward three times and then turns to the left. One, two, three, turns to the left. So totally facing away from the gem, but really we can notice here that when you turn left, you're actually kind of moving in the direction of getting towards the gem. We just need to do it maybe two more times. So uh, let's go ahead and if we turn left one more time, we'll be facing the stairs turn left, we're facing the stairs, and if we turn one more time, turn left, we'll be facing the gem. So let's go ahead and run this and make sure that that works out okay. So move forward, move forward, move forward, turn left, turn left, turn left, and there he is, he's facing the gem. So this idea of turn right, we can say, is an abstraction, and it's an abstraction uh, uh, made up of three, uh, a composition of three turn left procedures. Okay, so let's finish this off now and we'll go ahead and uh, move uh, forward one, two, three more times and then collect our gem. So move forward, move forward, move forward, and then collect the gem. And uh, that should get our one and only gem in this puzzle. And I'm running the code here. Move forward three times. Turn left three times. Move forward three times. One up the stairs. Two, three. Collect the gem. And he did it. All right. So just to review, we've learned how we can composite a set of detailed instructions or procedures into some new, more abstract behavior. For example, we here composited three turn lefts uh, in order to make a single turn right command. Uh, 
Um, also, we've talked about earlier that we can composite um, all the detailed activities like take a shower, put on pajamas, brush teeth, get into bed, read a book, go to sleep into one larger abstract activity we call go to bed. And one interesting thing I'd like you to think about here, um, the, many of the detailed procedures that are used in our go to go to bed procedure are actually themselves an abstraction of more detailed procedures. For example, one of our uh, procedures that makes up our go to bed routine is called brush teeth. So I'd like you to take a minute and just think, can you think of all the detailed procedures you do to uh, combine them all together to uh, make up this abstract idea of brush your teeth? All right, give that some thought, and we'll see you next time when we're going to do the second activity called Creating a Function. We'll show you how to uh, turn a bunch of detailed procedures into an abstract procedure uh, in, in the form of a swift function. Okay, see you next time.